Hey guys, it's me, April Tear 101, and I just wanted to share with you really quickly a little bit of product information about my favorite product line, Redken. So, a lot of you use Redken already and already know that it's awesome. For those of you who are nervous about trying a new line or maybe don't quite understand how it works, I want to just walk you through some of their styling products and teach you a little bit about them. I have never been disappointed with a Redken styling product, not once ever in my entire life. It does what it says, it says what it does, and they are wonderful. So really quick, they have a numbering system, and this is something that I really love because every once in a while they'll come out with a new product, like for instance, this Braid Aid, really new product, and I'd never heard of it before. And I was like, ooh, I don't really know. You kind of want to just open it up and squish it around in the store, but that's not very nice. But you still can, but that's not my point. My point is that they have this little numbering system on it. So here you go. Okay, so the braid aid is a three on their scale. So their scale obviously starts from like zero or one and goes all the way up to however strong it is. Like the highest one I have right here is 23. I think there might be a higher one than that, but that's the highest. So that is the amount of hold you're going to get out of their products. So the braid aid, not super sticky, not going to like glue the hair in place, but it is going to give you some grip and some texture so that when you're braiding the hair, those little flyaways and everything kind of just like melt together and stay put, but they still, they're still flexible. You could probably still brush this. It's, not, it's gonna be workable. And now I'm gonna show you the texture really quick. So it comes in this little tube and it has a pump and it has, it's almost like a really thin serum and it's, it's really, really liquidy, but you just like put it through your hair when you're braiding. Obviously, I'm not braiding my hair right now, but it even gives like really pretty definition to my curls. So you can use it for a few different things and smells amazing. So I'm loving the braided for my girls right now, and I'm using it in a lot of updos and stuff like that. But this is like a must have if you're doing bridal hair or updos or anything where you kind of want some smoothing, but you don't want to like stick it to where you can't move it again, like you're not sure if that's gonna be where it ends up. Braid Aid, love this stuff. Anytime you're braiding, doing anything like that. So really quick, I'm going to just start down here at like zero and show you guys kind of as it steps up in the, the number system. So One United, this I guess would be a one. This is a 25 benefit spray. This is something that you're gonna, it's like an all-in-one multi-benefit treatment. So something that you're gonna spray on your hair wet before you dry it, it helps improve manageability, shine, texture. It's just sh like, it's beautiful. It conditions, nourishes. Okay, so, and it, this is awesome stuff if your hair is super porous. Like if you've colored a little bit too much or used a little bit too much heat, this is gonna help fill it in and keep it healthy feeling and strong and not breaking off. So, Oh, and it's a detangler too. So you can spray it on your little girl's hair to help brush it out. Like it's just kind of like a, everyone can use this miracle spray loveliness. So it does have a 25 on there. That's not the hold. It's like one United. This is, the numbers don't look the same. Like this is the safe one. No hold, just pretty much loves your hair. So the next one I want to show you guys is this number two satin wear, and it is a blow dry lotion. This stuff is really awesome. It does have a teeny little bit of control that adds to it, but it's mostly just like a lotion-y, keeps your hair soft, satiny when you blow dry it. It won't weigh it down, it's not gonna be super sticky. Love this stuff. And it's also a heat protectant, so girls with long hair, you're gonna be curling it a lot. Great product. So I already talked about the braided, that's the number three. And then the next one I have is a number six because I don't have a four or five. But that's okay. I'm just going to kind of show you guys generally what they are. So this is the number six thickening lotion and it's like an all over body booster hair. For thinner hair, if you want your hair to look super thick, it makes it look more dense and you guys got to smell this stuff. It smells so yummy. They're, they're just so clean. Redken smells are always safe. I've never had something stinky from them either. Um, but yeah, you stick this in before you blow dry it and blow dry it and you just 
thicker, more volume, voluptuous hair, and it's a medium on the control, so you will get a little bit more lift, and so it'll help out with that too, because most of the time when people have a little bit more fine, thin hair, it's kind of sticking down, and they want to have a little bit more body, so this will definitely help you with that. If you guys look on the back of these products, also it has like a little kind of like, has like a little three section light medium max hold and this will tell you between the numbers. So number one through five is going to be your mild control, not very much. Medium control is your six through 15 and 16 through 28. So this is not their highest hold crazy thing, the 28 is. And I think I know what it is, but I'm not sure. I think it's a gel and I think it's like sticks way strong. So anyway, this is still in the medium zone and it is a Fashion Waves Beachy Texture Spray. So it's like a sea spray, it's kind of like gives you that gritty look like you've been playing at the beach all day long and you can stick this in your hair wet or dry and it will just give you that fun kind of dry salty sea look curls which is really pretty right now. If you have longer hair and you just want to spray this all the way through and crunch it and just spray it through a couple times you'll get that awesome texture and this will be your best friend. So number seven, here's another number seven. So this number seven is an all over volumizing mousse. It's the same hold as that sea spray waves, but this one you'll use a little bit different. You'll put it in your hair wet. You could crunch it through if you had curly hair or a perm, or you can just put it at your roots to get a little bit of volume. All right, so this is a number seven also. It's the Duo Shield Color Protecting um, Gel Cream, which is kind of crazy. Like you spray it out and it's Look at this, it's got like cream in the middle and gel on the outsides, can you guys see? So cool, ooh, that's weird. And um, yeah, it goes in your hair damp and then you blow dry it out, but it gives this beautiful shine and color protectant, that smells wonderful, to um, people that maybe have like reds or vibrant colors you wanna preserve. Now I have this all over my hands. I've already showed you guys this in another video, so I won't put it in my hair or anything, but it's number eight and it's the metal fixes. They have the silver and the gold. These are so much fun for high fashion or just like dancing for little girls or anytime you wanna add a little bit of bling in there, it's like putting a little piece of metal in your hair. So awesome. And it does have quite a bit of hold in the gel. So here we go. Here's number 10. It's the mess around. They have several of these numbers. This is one of the number 10s, mess around. This one's really fun for short hair and whatever, long hair too. You can stick it in wet and blow dry it, but it's like this jelly cream, or you can even take it when it's dry and define out your pieces, your curls, your spikes, whatever you have going on. And it just gives you these really pretty definition and it smells divine, of course. So love this product. This is one of my favorites. All right, and then number another number 10 is the gut. Now, you guys should all know what this is because this is one of my all-time favorites. It's a spray mousse, and you can like spray it just where you want it. So wonderful stuff usually just ends up like in this area, but it's super fun, and it smokes a little bit when you blow dry with it, but that's what I've seen with everyone. Just be careful. A little bit steamy, if you know what I mean. But it's a 10, so it will give you some good hold. So this is one of my other favorites because I have shorter hair. It's the Rough Paste and it's a number 12. So this one has more of like a gel, like here, I'll show you guys the texture because these are awesome. They come out in these little like this toothpaste bumps, you know, it reminds me of that. So here's the Rough Paste, it kind of comes off and then just cuts it off Whoop. and you just mess it in your hands. And this stuff is awesome for like those men's haircuts where you just like any short textury haircut that you want to piece out all the texture that you just put into it it's like you can't really see it and then you get this stuff out and put it all the way through and it just pops it all out love love the rough paste and i love putting this in guys hair after i've given them some fun haircuts because it it does have quite a bit of hold but it's a really dry matte finish so love that stuff all right, you guys, this one is another one of my favorites right now. It's a newer product. It's the Stay High 18 Gel to Mousse. Like it, I'll show you. It comes out clear. It's almost like shaving gel, it comes out clear, but then it like, as you mess with it, it turns into like a foam. And this stuff is what I've been using when I do my pompadour, like the tall middle. I'll put this all the way through the middle of my hair. I have it all over my hands now and I'm not gonna do that. 
and um, and then I blow dry it and it creates super stay high volume. Like I can get just like, and it stays pretty good th throughout the day. I add a few more products to it, like a finishing spray and some powder at the roots to keep it really high. And once again, the short sculpt, this is my favorite finishing product that I have right now. It is a 19, it is a little bit higher hold. And I'll put this on after I do the stay high. So after it's blow dried, I'll do this. So yeah, you can add this to dry or wet hair, but I've been doing it to it dry just to piece it out after I do my pompadour. And I've been loving that. All right, this is the number 22. It's a really hard hold. It's up in the heart. I better check on my facts there. Yeah. So this is another one of my favorites right now. It's a really hard hold. It's the 22. It's called Shape Factor. And you guys can see in here, it's more like a gel like a gel paste, but this is awesome for really short hair, men's hair, spiky, but it's also, like I said, like a flat matte finish, so you don't, and it like a little bit of shine. It's not totally flat, but you don't have to like get their hair soaking wet and then put, like if you were using ice spiker or something and put that through, I mean, it would look wet all day. Dry the hair, then do this in it. Love this stuff. This is a really good one. Creates lots of texture. So this is the highest one I have today. It's a 23 and it's called Forceful and it is a super strong hairspray. This is the one that you're gonna use to like be the boss over your hair. I'm telling you where to go. You're gonna stick straight up and I'm gonna make you stay there all day. That's this one. It's not a sticky finish, so it's really nice. It gives it like a nice matte finish, not sticky, but serious, serious hold. So that's awesome. I can even use that right now. And I love using this one when I do my pompadour. So that's that, you guys. I hope that this helped you become a little bit more familiar with Redken products. Oh, I can taste it. <laughs> Hold up. So I hope this video helped you guys to understand how the Redken number system works a little bit and how it gradually increases on the hold and the strength. So I hope that this encourages you guys to try some of these products because like I said, I've never been disappointed with any of the Redken styling products that I've ever used. Yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to thumbs up the video for awesome styling products. And I'm so excited that Redken has stepped it up to make such awesome products. Love all of them. And let me know what you guys think. Which one of these products is your favorite if you've used them? And which one do you think that you haven't used? Or maybe just comment below and let me know which ones that you'd like to use or haven't used yet. All right, you guys, please go and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Periscope. The list is getting so long. Facebook, Snapchat, what else? Everywhere, Instagram. And if you haven't, go over to our vlogging channel and subscribe to that right now too. It's called April's Eye, so we'll link in the description below. And you can get all the updates on this little baby bump of a girl growing right here. And that is it. Hope you guys love this video as much as I do love these products. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. She likes really soft edges on her hair because it's fine. And everyone knows, or maybe if you don't, you got to learn that fine hair shows blunt cuts really, really, really obvious. Like, 